there guys in this video I'm going to show you how you can update uh, WordPress I'm gonna show you different ways the easiest and most convenient way is obviously to use the automated system uh, when you first log into WordPress if it requires updating you will usually see a message at the top uh, letting you know that a new version of WordPress is available and to please update now but one of the things I want to cover before we do any type of upgrading is backing up your WordPress database because you never know what's going to happen uh, things happen uh, certain things fall out of place maybe certain plugins have not been updated to work with the latest version of WordPress so you never know what's gonna happen you may end up actually breaking your site if your site is dependent on a specific theme function or plugin so always make a backup of your WordPress database before you run any kind of update alright so let's go into our cPanel first this is our cPanel for our uh, hosting account and uh, we're going to go into the backup uh, wizard here we're going to make uh, we can make a um, a full backup the home directory backup will back up all your main files that's your WordPress uh, actual files and your uh, images videos all that stuff then you have your databases which are separate and of course your email forms you don't need to worry about this you can also make a full backup but keep in mind that even though this is a full backup which contains everything in your environment and it's not a bad idea to do one of these every now and then uh, you will not be able to restore these yourselves you have to contact tech support so we can do this for you uh, so for the time being we only really need our databases I'm pretty sure our files are going to be okay uh, here's our only database that we have we're gonna go ahead and just click on that and it'll, it'll automatically download a backup for us so we're gonna grab this file and just kinda keep it nice and safe on our uh, desktop just in case something goes wrong we'll be able to restore uh, from that backup alright so now that we have a copy of this particular database let's go ahead and click the update now button alright or, or link as you can see <laughs> by clicking on this there's certain things that already uh, have gone wrong but we haven't actually made our backup yet so this is obviously something that happened a while back uh, before this update was available and before we ran it so let's go ahead and take a quick look uh, let's go ahead and just click the up, update now button this is going to force the update to happen automatically from the server directly into our hosting account. At this point, uh, it looks like the update has happened and now we are running the latest version of WordPress. Now let's go back into the updates uh, area. Let's see here. Dashboard, updates we still see this error which is the same error that we were seeing now this is obviously something dealing with our theme so we're not gonna worry too much about this one right now let's uh... let's go to our themes let's see what we have as far as themes are concerned um, see all our themes uh... need to be updated pretty much so this is a theme that we're currently using now it's a custom theme which uh... needs to be looked at And there's no updates available for it at this time so depending on your um, your theme or, or plugins you may need to also update your theme or plugins to coincide with the updates of your um, main installation of WordPress so here we're inside of the plugins area let's take a look at this we have all sorts of plugins that need to be updated Okay. Now it's a good idea, if you like, to make backup copies of your plugins before you update them because you never know. Sometimes a plugin may not work uh, the way it's supposed to. So in this case, we're going to use an FTP program called FileZilla and we're going to log in to our hosting account.
once we are logged in via FTP, we're going to navigate our way into the public underscore HTML folder and we're going to find the wp-content folder. In this folder, we'll go ahead and just grab a copy of our plugins and just download it to our desktop just to be safe. Okay, if anything goes wrong, we can always bring those plugins in their current state and just put them back in there. While this update is taking place, I'm going to go into my themes area. Let's see here, appearance, themes. And uh, I'm going to update, let's see here, um, 2015, I believe this is the latest um, theme that we have available for WordPress. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just activate that one and make that my default theme for now. That way, uh, any errors that were, you know, related to this current theme that I was using should be gone. Let's see here. Dashboard updates 12. As you can see, I no longer see that error. So that error was specific to the theme that I was using. So I have to find a way to update that particular theme in order to restore my website the way it was but obviously that particular error was already there even before I updated the software so that was a pre-existing condition as they say in the medical field <laughs> so that is something that we'll have to explore further in a different video uh, where we can uh, explore how to troubleshoot a specific theme find something uh, in it and fix it um, maybe that will be the next video Okay, so now that we've downloaded a copy of our theme, we have managed to get rid of that error by basically changing our theme to the latest version of uh, the WordPress default theme. Let's take a look at the updates section one more time, and I guess what was already in there. In here, I get a list of all the uh, plugins that require updating, or that there's updates for, as well as the themes. I'm going to go ahead and select all the themes and all the, uh, actually I guess you can only do one at a time really. So I'm going to select all the, all of the plugins and then I'm going to do those at once. So I'm going to click the update uh, plugins button. And as the software automatically updates everything you will uh, basically see a listing of the results. In this case, everything seems to have gone perfectly fine. From time to time, you will, um, from time to time, you will uh, get certain errors, and uh, you know it's just a matter of uh, you know going in here, show the details of the update, see what went wrong, why it was not updated, or why your entire uh, WordPress installation came crashing down. It does happen. Sometimes you run an update and the whole thing goes down and the only way to really like restore it is to manually disable the plugin. And that is one of the things that you go in through your FTP programs, go to the plugin section. It's just a simple matter of either renaming the folder or removing it completely uh, to deactivate the plugin and that should restore your uh, your copy of WordPress back to normal or at least in a working condition without the damaged plugin because like I said sometimes certain plugins do not get updated at the same time as the main installation of WordPress does therefore you may have issues um, uh, so in cases when your installation of WordPress, your website is absolutely dependent on a plugin or a theme that has issues. You may have to use a different plugin or a different theme uh, to kind of work around that issue until that particular uh, theme or plugin gets updated by the developer. Um, okay, so at this point, we have a fully updated, uh, basically, version of WordPress. Uh, we have our themes available uh, that have that require updates. We can 
basically go back into the dashboard area on the updates uh, section and uh, we'll click the update themes button by selecting all and just do them, doing them all at the same time one at a time everything gets updated go back to the themes page and now we have everything fully updated um, I have a feeling that if I switch back to my earlier theme that I'm still gonna see that one error let's see what this is updates and you know what sometimes it is just a matter of deactivating and reactivating things to work with the latest version maybe it was just an issue where it wasn't playing nice with the specific plugins sometimes you just get lucky in this case I think we might have gotten lucky <laughs> I don't see that error anymore and we have our theme back the way it's supposed to be for this particular website so that's not bad I think we got lucky in this case alright so now let's take a look at how to update this thing had you needed to do this manually um, the first thing you need to do aside from backing up your database and making sure you have prepared yourself for possible failure is we need to go to wordpress.org now this is the company or the organization that uh, creates WordPress um, so this is the main place to go uh, right on the front page uh, you'll see this big old blue button here it says download WordPress and whatever version they currently have so this is where you're going to get the latest version at any given time so, so let's click on this button here and we'll go to the page you can read more about it and let's click on the download button once again we'll download it to our desktop or anywhere on our machine where we can have access to it and uh, in this case it went down to my downloads folder so I'm moving it to my desktop just so we can see it here and I'm going to extract it now this is in a zip file format so you'll need something like uh, WinZip or WinRAR in order to be able to extract these files uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and extract it uh, give it a few seconds for it to complete it, complete the extraction and while that's going on I'm gonna make sure my my connection to my hosting account is uh, active I'm just gonna refresh my um, uh, FTP software here I'm gonna navigate my way to the uh, root directory or the actual public underscore HTML directory this is where the installation of my WordPress is actually located so keep in mind if you install your copy of WordPress somewhere else maybe you have multiple domains or uh, things of that nature uh, you have to be mindful of which directory you installed your you know your WordPress in or the one that you're updating so that you're not accidentally modifying something else that you don't need to be touching in this case my installation is directly in the in the root uh, area of, uh, of my of my domain uh, in this case is the public underscore HTML folder um, so I'm gonna grab my files that have just finished uh, downloading and I'm just going to select all of these and in, I just go to the main area where they're installed you can see certain files like uh, uh, here you can see the um, let's see here well maybe I should um, sort these by alphabetical order real quick so here you'll see index.php you'll see uh, images for well you'll see um, that's probably something separate um, you're gonna see your index.php folder you're going to see uh, wp-admin wp-content wp includes that's a good indicator that this is where your WordPress installation is located because those very same folders are the ones that we'll be uploading and uh, all we need to do is grab these files put them directly into this directory the public underscore HTML folder or wherever it is that your installation is located at and overwrite the previous files so don't worry about uh, what could possibly happen when something gets overwritten only WordPress files are going to be overwritten by 
the new the new WordPress files. Um, whenever that when whenever that uh, takes place, in this case, all these files have been uploaded. So you literally have all the latest version of these files. Uh, if you had a earlier version of WordPress, when you go into your dashboard and hit the refresh button, you may see uh, a message letting you know that you have new files and maybe your database needs to be upgraded. Just click the OK button and uh, your database will be updated accordingly. In most cases, it's really just a matter of overriding the old files with the new ones and your website will continue to working as it should. Alright, so now you know how to update your copy of WordPress. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us, uh, post a follow-up question uh, to go with this video, or you know, contact us directly. Uh, we're available 24 hours a day, and we're more than happy to help you with your WordPress issues.